Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex Ramey and I'm the owner of DJ Cut Entertainment. And today I wanna to talk to you about why you should consider having your wedding outdoors. Hi, my name is Alex Ramey and today we're gonna to go over why you should consider having your wedding outdoors versus an indoor venue. And right now we're in the middle of our pandemic of COVID-19, but this is gonna carry suit and I'm gonna go into some of the details of why you should really consider having your wedding outside and some of the benefits. But we're also gonna talk about some of the other things you need to think about as you're planning your wedding. So the number one reason why you should have your wedding outside versus indoors is the amount of people and the space. And so right now everybody's practicing uh, the social distancing and making sure that everybody is far enough apart. But you know, normal times when you have 150 to 200 people, that's a big space to be inside of a building. And so when you're having it outdoor, you have a lot more area and space to work with. A lot of times when we're doing outdoor weddings, we're able to have the ceremony in a different location. Then we can do cocktail in its own area and then dinner and dancing uh, can be in its own separate area. And so when you have outdoor locations, you have a lot more room to work with. You can spread uh, all the people out and you can incorporate a lot more things. One of the things you can't incorporate indoors is lawn games, and those are usually a big hit. So here in Oregon, it is pretty hot in the summertime, so one of the things that you need to consider is having shade if you're doing an outdoor wedding, and think about having a tent for dinner. Usually people just think about having a tent if it's gonna rain, because um, some weekends it does rain here in the summertime, um, but you need to think about having a tent for shaded area. I've had ceremonies before, where people are outside and they're complaining about because it's so hot. But when they're sitting in a shaded area, they don't think about this as much and it's much more pleasant. So one of the other things that you need to think about when it comes to one social distancing or having a wedding uh, that's in a tent, especially a very large tent or where everything is spread out is having the proper sound system. And so usually what we do is we like to set up a pretty good sound system by the dance floor but then we'll put speakers like in the back of the room or out on the sides, uh, depending on the area that we need to reach. And what this does is allow us to keep the volume level overall at a lower volume and we don't have to push that volume and sound outwards. So we can have our speakers that are on the dance floor set to one level and then the speakers in our back room, we can turn them down a little bit less and everybody can still hear the music whenever I make any announcements on the microphone. Everybody can hear clear, clean directions. Now, when we're doing sound systems in different parts, there's something you need to consider. Sometimes we have a sound system that's directly for the dance party. Um, our packages come with its own sound system for the ceremony, but sometimes we need to add an additional sound setup for the cocktail or dinner if that's in a completely different location. When you're doing a backyard wedding or an outdoor wedding that uses a lot of area, you need to think about your setup. Plan uh, where the most flow of traffic is gonna be. When I have my tent setups, I ask that my dance floor and my bar are in the same relevant location, because that usually leads to a successful dance party when I have the bar that's all the way in a different location or the head table's in a different location it's hard to get them to the dance floor and just the flow of event has a little bit of hiccups. And so I like to look at the sound setup and the layout that the planner has put forward. So that way everything flows smoothly, there's good walk areas, and it's just not an eyesore going from an event to an event. So whether it's social distancing or you guys have an event that has you know 150 to 200 people, that's really hard to fit inside and feel cramped um, with outdoor weddings, backyard weddings. Having everything spread out is very convenient, but the one thing that you gotta consider is having proper shade to keep everybody cool. Here's an example of a wedding that we did. Um, I don't think this bridesmaid ha had enough to drink uh, of water and they ended up passing out. Um, and as soon as we got everybody inside in the shade, it was, it was amazing after that. But the number one concern is making sure that you guys have proper shade so your guests are comfortable in the different areas. They can handle being outside in the sun for a little bit, but they're usually gonna 
tend to go to the shaded areas. Um, so when you're doing these kind of uh, events, make sure that you have shade that everybody can gather underneath.